Hi, I'm Ask Charlie and welcome to my YouTube channel. With the Easter holidays almost upon us, I thought I would chat to you about what I would pack for one of my children to go on a skiing holiday. So, let's start with a ski jacket. So this is a Dare to Bear, which is a really good quality. Um, it's got lots of pockets, which is handy. It's got a great pocket in the arm for your ski pass. It actually even comes with this to wipe your glasses lens. So that is a great jacket. And then the salopettes, which I think is really important to have braces on them. It just helps keep them up for little ones. So then moving on to gloves. These are Bart's and they're mittens. They've got these, which is really handy to put through little one's wrists but they do get quite warm. So I have also got another pair of, um, these are liners actually, but they can be worn as gloves in the spring. So these are North Face, really cold weather, you can wear these under your mitts. I have got a balaclava liner. So we don't have our own helmets, we hire them. So it's quite nice if you're wearing a helmet that other people have worn to pop one of these on. And also if the weather's cold, then you have got an extra layer, but it's not too thick and you won't overheat with it. A hat in case it's cold in the evenings. I do take three pairs of ski socks. You can get away with two, but I don't really want to do any washing while we're away. And I think it's nicer to have, you know, a fresh pair, six days, well, three days and one pair of socks is probably pushing it. Um, I do name them. Because I've got three children, I can get in a bit of a muddle, particularly between the boys, as to who's is whose. So I do pop a name tape on them. Um, goggles. So I have gone for really, really bright ones for Gussie, so I can spot him a mile off. I do think it's important to have good quality, particularly when it's really, really sunny and the glare from the sun on to the snow can damage eyes. So these are a good quality. And I also have polarised sunglasses. So again, that helps with the glare on the snow. I do pop a pack of hand warmers in, just in case. And then their ESF ski um, ability book. Um, so this gets stamped by their ski instructor and they get a badge at the end of the week. So that is their skiing record for ski school. Um, I do take two pairs of long johns. So these are, um, great to wear under your salopettes or even just for you know chilling out in the chalet after skiing um if it's really cold they're invaluable particularly for winter skiing um december january and february um those are fairly vital two thin layer um zip up fleeces so those are a great mid layer i do take these um fleecy neck warmers so my children would ski in a polo neck when the weather's really cold or just a long sleeve t-shirt um, for spring skiing so that's why this is quite useful if it is chilly so i have got five tops there clean one for every day i have then got pajamas so oh i'm dropping them and um, these are sleepy cozy the best pajamas so there's the brush cotton um, blue star and the blue gingham and then I have got two long sleeve t-shirts um, well vests um, I'm hoping that we won't need these but if it is chilly we can pop them on under their long sleeve t-shirts and there's an extra layer for them one pair of tracky buns for in the chalet and then I just take two sets of clothes for the evening um, hopefully they won't get too dirty. We won't be going out that much because I find with a ski holiday, the children get really tired. So we tend to have relatively early nights um, and stay in, um, but, you know, we go out a little bit, but I'm not taking a set of clothes for every day at all because I found that we come back with a whole load of clean things and it just takes up valuable room in the suitcase. So a big, thick fleece, um, really nice to get cozy in the evenings. Um, socks and pants, snow boots. So mine, I don't make them travel in their snow boots. I think they just get too hot. So I will pack these in the case. They are heavy and they are bulky, but I'm quite happy those being in the suitcase. Um, 
Right, SPF, terribly important. So I put Factor 50 on their faces. This is La Roche-Posay Factor 50. I've also got this, it hasn't got an SPF, um, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. It's a really, really good quality um, SPF, and I use this, um, and I will pop it on the children's noses and cheekbones. Factor 15 for their arms, if we are sitting in the sun at lunchtime, that is pretty useful. Wash bag, I am going to talk you through the contents of this because I have got first aid bits in here as well. So I've got plasters. They may get blisters from their ski boots, hopefully they don't, but I've got plenty of plasters just in case. A flannel. Pseudo cream, this stuff is amazing and I always take a pot with it wherever I'm going. Lavender oil, so I tend to just pop a couple of drops on the children's pillows. Also, it's really relaxing in the bath too, I quite like that. But I put it on their pillows to help them sleep. Arnica pills, I go everywhere with those. Um, Gussie hates mint toothpaste, so I have got this Jack and Jill strawberry. It's um, a natural toothpaste and he really likes it, so we don't have battles over brushing teeth anymore, which we did have. So can like really recommend this if your children don't like mint and he's got quite a lot of baby teeth still so he uses a little toothbrush cool and soothe so these go on your forehead if you've watched my video on what you should have in your medicine cupboard i really really rate these great if you've got a temperature or just a headache so um i've got those Vitamins, I make sure my children have a multivitamin. So these are Bassett multivitamins for seven to 11 year olds. And they have one every evening before they brush their teeth. Um, this is a pretty new brand of toiletries designed for children, particularly sort of teens um, and preteens. Um, so this is Spot and Stripe. And I bought this for Christmas for the children and they love it. So I have bought more. Lips off, Sun Protect SPF 30. Really, really important when you're on the snow to have Lips off with an SPF in. Bacitracine, this is French um, and it's a really good, it's um, an antibiotic ointment cream. Um, and I just find it's, I, I love the stuff. <laughs> um, if they get a cut, I pop it on and yes, that's great. And you can get it in French chemists so can highly recommend bacitracine and then an ear thermometer um, just in case. Uh, Calpol so I'm just taking four lots of Calpol and hopefully we won't need any more but I can get it out there if we do I'm not going to travel with lots. Right then this jacket um, so this is really really lightweight scrunches up into a tiny little ball so this is perfect for traveling I can squeeze it into my hand luggage case I don't um, let the children well if they really want to take a backpack they can but we don't take individual backpacks I just take one hand luggage bag on wheels I found it much easier than worrying about three children's backpacks and that and my handbag it was too stressful so we just have one bag and my handbag and so this can scrunch up into that but also this is really good if the weather is really hot it's lightweight enough for them to well for Gussie to ski in rather than his big ski jacket so that's another option so I don't let them travel um, in their ski jackets because I just think they get too hot they're too bulky and these are really lightweight and easy um, things for the plane so I have got a piece map that I've printed off so that will keep them occupied for a little while I don't let them take iPads and things when we're going short haul I want them to be able to look out and engage with what's going on around them see what's out the window and yeah not be in their own world absorbed with the screen so we have got first news um, which comes once a week, it arrives on a Friday and my kids love it. It's a bit like junior week, um, we really like that. Um, National Geographic Kids Magazine, so this is a great magazine and it's got lots of fun things for them to do in, as has Aquila. So this is a monthly subscription magazine 
and I can highly recommend it. It's got lots of great things in here. It's pretty educational, well, it's very educational. And yeah, so that is a great one. So those will all go in my case for hand luggage. I hope that you have found that useful and interesting. Um, and yeah, do please hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.